All right, let me show you how I did it. Let's drag these three images onto Aurora HDR. And I guarantee you that I was shooting on a tripod, so I don't feel the need for alignment. And while I could remove some of the ghosts in the water, I think I actually want to see them to be a little bit more turbulent. So I'm going to bypass all of those options except for color denoise. And I'll click Create HDR. Now, this is looking pretty good. What I want to do here is make a few basic tweaks. So I'll take the eyedropper and sample something that should be white. That works well, but I'm going to roll the color temperature just a little cooler. Now, let's really start to bring this out. I'll recover the highlights, lift the shadows, pop the whites so that snow stays crisp, and put a little bit of depth back into the blacks. The contrast slider or HDR enhance also works well, but don't overdo it or the rocks become way too overblown. Now I see a few spots that are coming out into the sky, so those can be touched up with Luminar later if you'd like to go ahead and clean that up or it could have been done by pre-processing the files. Next, what I'm gonna do is take a look at some top and bottom lighting. But before that, let's try polarizing the sky to bring back some of the missing blues. That does a great job on the water too. The polarizer filter is great for both sky and water and brings back some of the details that are lost in the glare. Now, let's set the orientation here for the top and bottom tuning. And we'll bring down the exposure at the top a little bit, but lift it at the bottom. And let's roll the color temperature there nice and frigid for the water. But the sky, even more so, a rich cold winter blue. Now, I'm gonna go ahead with the HSL controls. Remember, HSL lets you target specific zones of color. The hue, which is the shade, the saturation, which is the intensity of color, and the luminance, or the overall brightness. In this case, I'm gonna start by targeting the hue and go after the aquas. Notice how I can shift the water, as well as on the greens there. Maybe lift the blues a little bit. I'm gonna go here to saturation and boost the greens ever so slightly, as well as the aquas. But tone down the reds so they're not so strong. We'll come to luminance and do the same thing. Darkening the rocks a little bit. There we go. But lifting up the green water so it looks nice and cold in the aqua. Now, let's just put the mood in there. We'll jump into a tone curve and do a nice classic S curve. Pulling down the shadows and popping the highlights for bright snow. I like that and we'll finish it off with a little bit of a vignette and that does a great job. Now, remember, if you've got some spots or things that you need to fix, let's just click done there to apply it, you can jump on over and send this to Luminar where you can do cloning and healing as needed. But all in all, if we take a look at the before and the after, I think I've suitably captured the cold feeling of a crisp winter day.